All right, in the last video, we solved for um, the rectangular tank, and we got this uh, value for cubic feet. We would write this into our um, our worksheet right here. We could write in uh, the that answer right here. And so now, what we're going to do is solve for the rounded tank right here, which we're going to write our answer right in here. So I want to point out some similarities between the rounded and the square tank or rectangular tank. Notice that the dimensions, the height of the tank and the length of the tank are exactly the same. And then if we look a little bit further, um, the rounded ends of the tank here and here are kind of attached to what we already have for 56 inches similar to the size of the rectangular tank. So what we really have is the rectangular tank here in the middle and we have the two rounded ends can be put together and be solved separately as a cylinder. So what I've done is broken this up into two different or three different uh, segments. We have the two half rounds on either end and then we have the rectangular end a uh, uh, tank in the center. So this tank and this tank are exactly the same size but what I can do here is pull all of these things apart. So I can take this tank here and move it up or this portion of the tank here and move it up and this one and move it up and join it with this one and then we see we have a cylinder and we have the rectangular tank. Well, we already know the volume of the rectangular tank. It's not going to change. And so what we need to do is really just solve for the cylinder, um, the size of the cylinder, the volume of it, and add it to what we already figured out before for the size of the rectangular tank. So I just need to get the dimensions of the cylinder. Can we figure that out from the drawings? We can. Uh, the height here of this tank is 24, which means the diameter of the cylinder is 24 because we go from the top to the bottom through the center of the half circle, meaning that's also the same as the diameter. So let's just check that and see. So there's two feet or tw uh, 24 inches. So that means half of the um, uh, half of that would be the radius equal to the radius of one foot or 12 inches. So if I want to solve for the volume of this tank, um, I would take the radius squared and multiply it times pi, and then multiply that times the length of the cylinder. So let's do that math over here and then we'll add it to what we got for the square tank volume and we'll get our um, rounded tank volume sol uh, uh, problem solved. Okay, so we can do this two ways again. We have the cylinder. I can do this in all in inches, so 12 inches um, squared times pi times 96 will give me the volume of um, 43,429.377 inches cubed. And then I would have to convert that to cubic feet. So I take that number and divide it by 1728 inches cubed per foot cubed gives us 25.133 uh, cubic feet. Or I could take the numbers that I had, which is the 12 inch radius, and convert it to one foot and take the length 96 and convert it to eight feet and then plug that in and get, get directly to my cubic feet. So one foot squared is one times pi is 3.144 or pi and then multiply that times eight um, feet and my answer will automatically be in uh, cubic feet. So we get 25.1333 feet cubed. If we simply just add this answer to the answer that we got before for the rectangular tank we get the total volume of the rounded tank shown here. Okay. And that is how we break that up and figure out the more complicated uh, tank with the rounded ends.